Bowen's getting wrecked. Are you for real? One ultra. It's 9.57 in the morning and we just caught a lapras down the street here at the falls. It's a good start. You know what that means. What? I was waiting to do that. What's going on guys, Stevie here with Lucky Crit, and today we have the version 0.51 update for Pokemon Go, and we also have the data mine that was done by the Silk Road already. Uh, since this update is pretty small, I'm just going to put them both in this one video for this week. So, let's take a look. Trainers. Pokemon Go is in the process of being updated to version 0.51 for Android and 1.21 for iOS devices. Below are some release notes and comments from our development team. Right off the bat, the bug that caused incorrect vibration notifications has been fixed. This was a bug that was present ever since version 0.49, the most recent update before this one. And essentially what it meant is whenever your chart would update, whenever a Pokemon would spawn or despawn or you were moving around and it was changing, it would vibrate. So this was confusing a lot of players and essentially tricking them into thinking that something spawned near them when in reality it was just the chart messing around. Honestly, it was to the point where I was kind of getting used to this, having this as a, as a feature. At first, we weren't sure if it was a bug or a feature within the game. And uh, from this update, I'm going to assume that the entire thing vibrating at all was the bug. But there may be a possibility that there was also another bug associated with it. I personally think that having the chart vibrate whenever it updates is a very, very bad idea. It was very annoying, and it almost triggers a kind of PTSD-like response where... If you're navigating through your Pokemon or through any of the menus or anything and it vibrates, you have that little voice in the back of your mind wondering if a Dragonite just spawned next to you or something rare and you have to go check it out. And of course, then you exit out and you take a look and it's just your chart updating. So it's really silly. The vibration being for when stuff spawns, I think was a great part of the game. And confusing that and making it so that you're not sure if something spawned or not, I think is a really just bad idea. So hopefully that's completely gone. I haven't had a chance yet to actually test it out for myself and make sure that that's the case. But I'm assuming that the entire vibration whenever the chart changed as a whole was the bug and uh, not just some, you know, minor vibration bugs with it. So next up, day and night modes have been changed to more accurately reflect the trainer's current time of day. So I think that this is going to have to do with potentially some of the Generation 2 Pokemon. But to explain it, essentially the game would sometimes still have the kind of daytime mode even though it was nighttime depending on where you lived based on the, I guess, original game time. So now, depending on where you're at, I think it's going to more accurately reflect the time of day that you're in. So I saw a lot of people posting online that about around 5pm or so for them, it did change to the nighttime version of Pokemon Go where the map is a bit darker, a bit more blue. So I think that's going to be really cool. And when it comes to Generation 2, Generation 2 is the generation that introduced the day and night cycle and basically made it so that certain spawns change during the day or at night and you only find certain Pokemon at certain times. So for example, Pokemon like Sentret or Furret, you'd find them during the day and Pokemon like Hoot Hoot, Noctowl, Spinarak, those kind of Pokemon you would find at night. So I think that's going to be really cool and I think that's definitely potentially going to play into some of the Generation 2 Pokemon. Maybe that's why they're staggering the release because of what they're working on when it comes to it. Maybe they're not just going to drop them all in the game and have them as normal spawns. Uh, when it comes to Espeon and Umbreon, my theory for that is going to be, depending on whether or not it's day in the game or night in the game for you, you'll be able to evolve Eevee into Espeon or Umbreon, respectively. And what I mean by that is, I think the way that they would probably do it is when you evolved Eevee during the day, you'd have a 1 in 4 chance of getting a Vaporeon, a 1 in 4 chance of getting a Jolteon, a 1 in 4 chance of getting a Flareon, and because it's during the day, you'd also then have a 1 in 4 chance of getting an Espeon. At night, the same thing except Umbreon, so essentially the evolutions would just become a 1 in 4, and then depending on which time of day you're playing in, that would affect the new evolution being added into the mix. So it's actually going to make it, I guess, a little bit harder to get the new Pokemon when it comes to Espeon and Umbreon, but I think that'd be a really cool way for them to do it. And uh, unless they add in some other kind of feature, I can't really see them doing it a different way than that. 
And aside from that, we have our usual trolley minor text fixes. So, we've also got some new changes to that latest splash screen that we got. Apparently a lot of people were complaining about the female trainer on there, so that's been altered a little bit. The Eevee that a lot of people were thinking was shiny because it was golden has been kind of toned down a little bit. I think what ended up happening is the Eevee is actually standing a little bit too close to a yellow light bulb, and that's kind of what gave it that yellowish tinge to it. Because shiny Eevee is actually silver, but that ended up confusing a lot of people, so it looks like it's been toned down a little bit in this latest version. And we've also got the lights switched on the Pokestop. It looks a little bit more tasteful this time around, so less lights, less craziness happening there. There's also a new glitch that's been discovered that's been going around a little bit. I'll link it in the description down below if you want to check out the full video. Essentially what happens is you can basically make multiple Pokemon appear on top of each other at the same time on the screen. It doesn't seem game-breaking in any way, but it does appear to be an oversight that Niantic must have missed, so hopefully we'll get a fix for that soon. That's not everything though. The Silk Road has already done their app data mine and this is what they came up with. They found a whole bunch of image files within the app itself that are basically these images of presence of various sizes and not much has been added code wise related to these but their file names are tiered from bronze to gold and then with special, great and ultra variants. So we're assuming that this is gonna be the Christmas event. Um, they also have a metadata attribute named has holiday items that's appearing in relation to the shop so we're thinking that maybe the shop feature is going to get kind of overtaken by this kind of holiday present feature. Maybe we're going to get free items or reduced prices or something like that. Not entirely too sure just yet, but it does seem like we will be getting a special Christmas event that is outside of the kind of Santa Pikachu and uh, the other stuff we have going on with the Generation 2 egg Pokemon. So finally, there is a variant of the shop button that has appeared. It's essentially the shop button with uh, a little present on it. Some people were thinking maybe it'd be a new UI element or a new button to click on, but it seems like it's probably just going to take over the shop. Maybe you click on it and get your present and then it kind of reverts to the old shop icon. So basically the Silk Road is saying that rather than a new UI element, this is simply a variant of the standard shop button that will be replaced when holiday items are waiting. So as previously discovered, shiny Pokemon and genders have seen a little bit more development, adding respective fields into the Pokemon display class, and then essentially some code here of gender field number with values of male, female, genderless, and then a shiny field number. So these features are, are still in development. I guess it's probably gonna be out pretty soon, maybe with the rest of the launch of generation two, but clearly they're still working on it and still adding stuff because the past couple updates, we've seen a couple different things where they've added new code related to this. It's definitely coming. The question is when. We also saw the addition of gloves and socks joining our list of avatar customization slots. And uh, this is, that's really interesting to me because now they're going into like really picky, tiny little details when it comes to the avatar customization. So that could be potentially a really, really good thing. I mean, I could see, uh, when they say socks, I'm seeing in my mind like Christmas Pikachu socks or something like that. Red socks with Pikachu all over them or, or something along those lines. Like they could be getting really, really specific with some of these items that are gonna be added to the game. So that's gonna be really interesting to see how it plays out. Some of them, odds are, are gonna be paid items, but we should be able to unlock some more items by default, so I think that's gonna be really nice. The only costume type is still Holiday 2016, so there's no need to worry about any other costumes surprising you. So basically, the only costumes that we have so far are the Santa hat on Pikachu and Raichu for this particular Christmas event. It's possible that we'll see something in the future for other things, but my guess is that it was only for this particular event that we have going on right now. Make sure that you catch as many Santa Pikachus as you can. They might be rare trade bait later, and you probably want to find a good, like, wonder or, you know, 80%, 90% good IV version of it just to keep for yourself. Also, within the data mine, we see a lot of evidence about the Apple Watch variant of Pokemon Go that's going to be coming out at some point soon. So there were a lot of clickbait articles going around saying that the uh, Apple Watch version was canceled. Actually not the case. And in fact, right after they're saying it's canceled, we're seeing even more data on it within the code itself. Basically, there's a line of code here that says, has watch Apple installed. So relating to whether or not you're using the Apple Watch. So overall, there's not too, too much information here, but we are seeing some Christmas event stuff coming out. It looks like we're gonna be getting presents, hopefully free presents that'll just open up maybe on Christmas or, or special days. Maybe they'll be giving away an item a day or something like that for a limited period of time. But uh, I'm excited for that. A lot of people were assuming that the Generation 2 baby Pokemon and the Santa Pikachu was the Christmas event, but it was a little too early. Like the Christmas event and the most events that they actually make happen the week of or maybe a couple days before. Some people were speculating that they're gonna discount a lot of the items in the shop for Christmas, which would make sense uh, for a lot of people. And you wouldn't wanna announce that a week early because that's gonna kill all the profits of people buying stuff from the shop that week. 
knowing that it's going to all be discounted that weekend on Christmas anyway. So maybe this could be something that is either revealed later today as of you guys seeing this video. I feel like Wednesday has been a day that they've picked before to release event information, especially like right before Halloween. But I could also see this coming out on Christmas itself or Christmas Eve or something like that just to let people know, you know, if there are going to be sales. I, I could see them doing it that particular way. So be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you're excited to see some new presents coming to Pokemon Go and this new Christmas event. Hopefully we could get some kind of a candy or experience reward. I would really like the double candy or the double Stardust to return. I definitely need a lot more Stardust in order to power up some of my Pokemon. Be sure to slash that thumbs up down below if you did enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.